Hello my fellow Hunters, yesterday I uploaded for the Nintendo Switch players the Elemental Switch X Meta video combination for all the different elements. And the thing was, yesterday on the video I used for every weapon like other combination of decorations and other skills because in general for yeah if you play a Nintendo Switch and you can't mod anything or you uh, haven't the time to query your size or your armor parts or so uh, yes I want to make a better optimization so it's very hard for Nintendo even considering you didn't have the best charm maybe yes uh, to make a template build because yes um, you didn't have that much diversity uh, in the comparison when you can mod your armor parts or your charms so this video is only for the PC players made who um, yes have the following mods from nexusmods.com uh, the first mod ROE framework to make all the stuff working then the I can show it you directly uh, the mods you use to so use uh, ROE framework then the charm editor and etain treat to edit your charm last update from 7th July still working very great and the curious treating or augmentation sheet um, which uh, where you can modify your armor parts, but it is uh, so in a way that is also possible in the game and theoretically possible. And the last update was on the 23 August, so make sure to have these three mods installed. So, first of all, I also want to mention that it took me uh, so much long preparation to make these template builds. So for the template builds you can ignore the slots on your weapons and you can squeeze in whatever you want but I have all the quality life of improvements, I have power longer maxed out, the weight extender, interpreted tart, emboldened level 2, so much quality of life skills and yes so you can squeeze in whatever you want just take care what skills are already made. So as preparation you can see here I augmented about 80 armor pieces. Uh, to the best possible combination and that took me so much a lot of time and after I've done this I go to the armor set searcher and then squeeze in all the best possible skills you can have for switch X like burst, edgy, tether, coalescence, male fire, fire for power fire yields, or elemental exploit for the elemental fire yields, power longer, weakness exploit, for gift polish, rapid movement, all that stuff. So after doing all that stuff uh, the set searcher recommended me the following combinations. Uh, so first of all, I show you the. I tell you about the skills I've used. So first of all, to the new skills from the new title update. On every set, we have Embolden level two with maxed out Agitator. So Embolden is absolutely crazy. It has one of the best synergy for Switch X, and I'm gonna tell you why. So Embolden um, gives you better iframes, better evading, unvulnerability, and thanks to Yukai Nox, he made a video and said. You gain, for example, at level 2, like I use on my builds, additional 20 defense, which doesn't care, but we got also Evade Window plus 3, which works absolutely insane with Evade Extender, and that's so good for Switch X. And yes, also Gord and other stuff, but yes. So we have alone with Embolden level 2, we have Evade Window 3, and I also squeezed in one level of, uh, no, one level of Evade Window. So uh, we have Unvulnerability, so we wait window level 4, which is absolutely crazy. And then Bolden level 2, which also synergizes absolutely great with Edgy Tater level 5, which is now very easy to trigger with Embolden. And also Deviance works extremely good with Embolden, so that means you like have all the time maxed out your plugs, which is absolutely insane. And so much quality of life. Also we have Interpreted Hurt, which works absolutely great with Switch X, very easy to fill the gouge with Aerial Switch X or in general when you're amped with the additional file burst, absolutely recommended. So that's with the new skills, and yes, also Interpreted Hurt is absolutely insane. You can use also that set for speedruns that you get so much good clear times with this. Attack boost is always maxed out, also the elemental attack is always maxed out, crit boost is always maxed out, weakness exploit maxed out. On the elemental builds, uh, elemental fire, sorry, we have handicraft level 3. We didn't need that on the power fire builds because they have already proper sharpness, and for the elemental fire, 
you need three levels of handicraft. Instead, on the Power Yards build, we have a little bit more Wirebug Whisperer. One level is enough, but yes, I squeezed in some more Wirebug Whisperer because all the other skills was already maxed out. Then we have on both sets Protective Polish with Power Prolonger maxed out. Also on the Elemental Files, Power Prolonger maxed out. Then Rapid Move maxed out on both sets. Defiance on both sets level 3, Burst on both sets level 3, Evade Extender level 2 on both sets, because Evade Extender level 3 is too much. And yes, like I explained before, Evade Extender 2 with um, Evade Window plus 4 on the Elemental Fire Coalescence level 2 on the Power Fire Coalescence level 3. Yes, on both Evade Window level 1, Wirebug Whisperer 1 on the Elemental build template and Wirebug Whisperer level 3 on the Power Fire build. Then we also have Bloodlust on both sets, level 1 to gain 20% additional affinity, so we have 85% affinity with Crit Boost 3. Then also like I attained before, Interpreted Heart level 1. And on the Elemental builds we have Elemental Exploit level 1 and it isn't worth it on the Power Fire builds. So I instead used Mail of Hellfire and I recommend just stay on the blue scrolls, it scales a little bit better than on the red scroll. Okay, that are the two sets I've used. So the only on one piece you have to swap is the, is the belt. So you can use Storage Helm with Onyo Carvinio, Onyo Teco, Silver Rathalos belt or from Scorp Magna Mello, and for the legs the Flaming Espina's heel. Um, yes, and for the charm I'm using always a um, uh, hack charm, which is theoretically possible in the game, which is the best charm I think for in general. Attack boost 3. Long time ago it was attack boost 3 and protective polish too, but now we have the big ass protective polish slots, uh, decorations, so, we, so the best currently is I think attack boost 3, weakness exploit 2 with a 3 1 1 slot. So this is the best possible combinations. I now uh, later show you the augmentations uh, for the how you can augment your armor in the correct way. But first of all, we go to my uh, overview tab, which is here, and so you can also just visit the web page and check it out. Um, here are the builds for the Elemental Fayal templates, Elemental meta, and this is for the Power Fayal. So you only need that really for the, uh, the Oras Shana, Luna Garon, Switch X, because they're pretty the same. The Oras Shana and Luna Garon are pretty much the same, depending on the Elemental hit zones. So if the uh, Ice hit zones are a little bit worse, then you couldn't use Luna Garon, but for the most cases, it's the Oras Switch X. Um, yes. Okay, here you can also check out the armor pieces and the decorations, and I also show that in the video. Uh, so, and this is the overview, I highly recommend for you. So in general, for the head, you're using 3 times defense minus 12, 1 times defense minus 6, slot plus 3 with 2 times the weight extender. On the chest and gloves, we are both using Violet Mitsutsune parts. On the chest, 2 times death minus, minus 12, uh, remove two times the stamina search skill at one slot plus three and one attack boost with one evade window. On the on new gloves, three times death minus twelve. Uh, one time you remove your stamina search skill and instead you gain two times S tier agitator, oh, sorry, that's A tier, and power longer. On the silver loss chest for the elemental filial, remove three times constitution with redirection. And you can also use defense minus 12, but I just removed that right direction because I didn't really use it. Instead, you gain 3 times crit boost. And on the scorned belt, which is kinda tricky to augment because you can't remove any skills. 4 times death minus 12 and 2 times crit boost. And on the flaming legs, 4 times death minus 12, slot plus 2, protective polish, and wirebug whisperer. So if that was too fast, to you, I am now going to show you the templates step by step. So first of all, I show you the elemental setup. I show you for the elemental file all armor pots, and then for the power file setup, I only show you the belt how to augment them. So yes, we go to Curious Armor Crafting and start with the hat. Go to augment, and then you can check your augmented skills, like you can see here. Defense minus 12, defense minus 12, slot plus 3, defense minus 12, a weight extender, a weight extender, and defense minus 6. 
Then on the chest, on your Cardigino, it is two times remove stamina search with slot plus three, one time attack boost, defense minus 24 with a C tier skill evade window. On the Kalafs, it's also from Mitsutsune. You remove stamina search and gain instead one level of power longer. Shall I fire up, please, man? You're so annoying. Um, two times agitator and defense minus 36. On the Silver Soul Coil, you remove three times Constitution with one direction and gain instead three critical boost, like you can see here. And on the Lex Flaming Espinas, defense minus 48, slot plus two, and you also gain protective polish with Firebug Whisperer. Now I'm gonna show you how to decoration all the stuff if it's too tricky for you. I think I'm gonna show that in this case. On the storage helm, a short jewel plus four with two cornerstones, jewels one. On the on your chest, a big ass quick switch jewel with a big ass enhanger jewel and a corner jewel level one. On the on you teku, two attack jewels two with a chain tool, chain jewel two. So chain jewel is uh, very hard to spell in English. On the silver soul coil, a challenger jewel 2 with two stream jewels 1. And on the flaming boots, a big ass handicraft jewel plus 4 with a quick switch jewel and a stream jewel. And instead of the stream jewels, you can just use elemental attack. Yes, and now on our talisman, a handicraft 3 talisman. Uh, sorry, charm with two stream jewels 1 or elemental attack. So next thing is you can see here, I query sized the armor so that you can slap out that handicraft tool. So if you're playing Narvas, which X, you can just easily squeeze out that handicraft tool and instead use another one. So I for you. Jetzt sofort? Heißt ja geht los. Okay. And now for the profile template. The only thing changes is the belt, like I explained before. I show you how to augment them. The Sinister Crooch Tessets. And you just use defense minus 12, four times, then two times S tier skill critical boost, and that's it. No level 7 or level 6 augmentation. And I now also show you the decorations because I a little bit messed up uh, the stuff <laughs> and, I sh and it's a little bit different than from the elemental files. So on the for the power file template it is on the storage shell a big S and angel tool plus four with two cornerstone tools. On the on your Karigino a big S elemental attack tool with wire bug tool plus four and a cornerstone tool one. On the on your Teku two attack tools two with a chain tool two. On the Mail of Hellfire part where we gain that additional attack of Mail of Hellfire, a big ass quick switch tool plus four with a challenger tool two and a steadfast tool one. You can also instead use some speed sharpening if you want, but I in my personal opinion prefer steadfast because we have PC version and we can get a lot of wet fishes if we want. And on the flaming espina seal, a big ass sharp tool with a critical tool two and a steadfast tool one. And on our Fatal Tempest Talisman with, yes, Quick Switch Tool 2 with a Steadfast Tool 1 and a Elemental Attack Tool 1. So a little bit kind of different, but you can see here, Attack Boost 7, Edge Attack 5, all that skills are completely maxed out. Also with Defiance 3, Burst 3, Weight Extender and Bolden, Weight Window, Mail of Hellfire, Bloodlust and the Pretty Third. And nothing useless skills on this build, just only useful setups. And yes, that was my recommendation for the elemental template builds. If that was to foster you, please take your time, look at the webpage here. And yes, I also write it down at the bottom here, Embolden 2 plus Await Window 1 is Await Window 4. Yes, here you can see, yeah, check out all the recommended augmentations. And, and I hope my, you enjoyed my video. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. So, um, I think you have seen the Nintendo Switch version before for the title update to meta builds, where I showed 
all the elemental meta axes, which are already shown at the thumbnail. But I just want to mention the elemental axes. These damage numbers are only for the Nintendo Switch builds, but they scale up all about 10%. So all, like I explained, all the PC builds are 10% stronger than the Nintendo Switch builds. Uh, nothing changes at all, so they are still the same meta weapons. For fire, it is by far Volcanic Switch, and all the other weapons are about 10% more weak. So it's by far the best fire axe in the game currently. For water, it is the Almudron Switch axe. There are uh, some special cases, like for Scorn Magna Malo, where the Daimo Switch axe is better. But I personally would say in 90% of the cases, the Whitebringer X is the best, like especially for Civil Rathalos or so, or Flaming Espinas, Whitebringer X is by far the best choice you can make. Uh, for Thunder, there was a little change. Um, now Thunder Clab is a lot better than the Sinogre Switch X, but um, maybe there are some circumstances where the Thunder Weakness Hit Zone is about 15 or 20 and if that's the case or especially for Garangolm the oppressor's torrent would be the better choice. So for general purpose 90% <coughs> uh, of the cases it's Thunderclap and then also Sinogre for some circumstances. For ice it's by far Daora's Ajnajnijna or Ajniha I didn't know how it's exactly pronunciated but this weapon is about 3% stronger than the Lagombi Switch X. So, um, for my personal experience, I got a lot better times with the Auras Ajna. It also has like a free rampage slot uh, with natural purple sharpness. So, yes, it's a lot easier to build around this weapon and it also does a lot more damage. You can also use elemental exploit, so you can also use um, the elemental file template if you want to use elemental exploit which also makes sense because this weapon has extremely high elemental damage output. This is the best ice switch ice switch X and for Dragon it is the Death Stench X. Um, currently there are some Dragon Switch Xs like Shagaru which are now a little bit better but currently there isn't any Dragon Switch X which can compete with the Calamitious X. So yes at the end of the day um, for best elemental switch axes are elemental fayal and for ice it is the Daoras Jana. So yes, thanks for watching, see you next time.